Today's performance will give you a tiny glimpse into the quality music education that your children are experiencing. But know that beyond the singing and dancing that you'll see today, each child at Center Street is developing not just a joy of music, but a deep understanding of rhythm, pitch, composition, and the coordination of movement and sound. Music has the power to bring people together at a time when division seems to be more prominent than ever. In their voices, our children unite us in our common desire for peace, acceptance, and connection. On behalf of the entire Center Street staff, I wish you a year full of joy, love, and good health, or as my father's family would say, slancha. But above all, I wish you peace, shante, shalom, pas. Cloud Walking by Shel Silverstein. When you walk on clouds, be careful. When you walk on clouds, beware. And never look beneath your feet to see what's under there. I made myself a snowball, as perfect as can be. I thought I'd keep it as a pet and let it sleep with me. I made it some pajamas and a pillow for its head. Then last night, it ran away, but first it wet the bed. Gross Nickel Hines. Will peace come with drums, be heralded by trumpets, prance in <coughs> waving red and gold banners? Will peace make a great noisy show? Or will it slip in quietly, the voice of one lone flute, floating almost unnoticed, blue, melodic, calm, until surprised we say, ah, this is peace.
December by Leonard Hetrick. Goodbye, December, you are closing the door. On this year, which you shall be seeing no more. Suppose on the last day you let your soft snow fall gently and cover the whole earth below. It's a ragged old earth, all deserted and worn. Its valleys are barren, its woods sadly shorn. But suppose you renew its glad youth for a day, give it a fresh gown before you go away, turn its tree into a white fairy queen, spread it with rich ermine, the hilltops once green. Each post, every roof, give a blanket of snow. Please do this, December, before you must go. Then goodbye, December, best wishes to you. Thanks for making the world nice and new. Osberg. It was wrapped in an apron of steam. Snowflakes fell lightly around it. A conductor stood at the open door of one of the cars. He took a large pocket watch from his vest, then looked up at my window. I put up my slippers and my robe. I tiptoed downstairs and out of the door. All aboard, the conductor cried out. I ran up to him. 
Well, he said, are you coming? Where, I asked. Why, to the North Pole, of course, was his answer. This is the Polar Express. I took his outstretched hand and he pulled me aboard. Sing by Oliver Herford. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December, a magical thing and sweet to remember. We are nearer to spring than we were in September. I heard a bird sing in the dark of December.
The Mitten by Alvin Trissolt. It was the coldest day of winter, and a little boy was trudging through the forest, gathering firewood for his grandmother. Bring back all you can find, the old woman said as she sat knitting a pair of mittens. The north wind blows cold, and we must have a good fire to keep us warm. Jane Yolen. We went into the woods. The shadows were the blackest thing I'd ever seen. They stained the white snow. My mouth felt furry for the scarf over it was wet and warm. Then we came to a clearing in the dark woods. The moon was high above us. It seemed to fit exactly over the center of the clearing, and the snow below it was whiter than the milk in a cereal bowl.
Winter Candle by Jerron Ashford. Nazreen's mother lit the candle and set it on the windowsill. How's Papa going to see one little candle in such a big city, Farouk asked. But as they watched, the candle shimmered and grew. It glittered on the falling snowflakes until the dark street seemed spun with stars. Many blocks away, Papa noticed a glow up ahead. Maybe someone there can give him directions. Papa steered left, then right, then left again, closer and closer to the glowing light. Snow by Berta and Elmer Hader. The days grew shorter and shorter. Then the first snow blew down from the north. When the round winter moon bathed the hillside in silvery light, the mice and the rabbits came out to dance and frolic. Millions of snowflakes fell down from the sky. It snowed all that night and all the next day. Thick snow covered the branches of all the trees.
in the world right now? By Stacy Shewitt. Somewhere in the night, somewhere the night wind sighs and murmurs. The moon shines through a window. A little girl lies dreaming of tomorrow. Birds stretch their wings and sing. A boy hides a note for, for a friend. People go to work, stores open. Another day has begun. And somewhere else the sun has already slipped away, drawing evening down like a shade. In the city, signs flash on and off, off and on. Trains whoosh through the tunnels, taking people home. Somewhere suddenly houses light up. A girl and her brother race each other to the, to the door. The day's work is done. A family sits down to supper. Somewhere, somebody reads a story and someone listens. Snow is Falling by Franklin M. Branley. Night has come and snow is falling. It falls without a sound. Look at the street light. You can see snow falling in front of it. The snow may fall all night. The snow may fall all day. The snow gets deeper and deeper. The lawn is white. The trees are white and also roofs of houses. Everything is covered. Everything is white. Everything is quiet and cold.
Advice from a Tree by Elon Schmier. Stand tall and proud. Sink your roots into the earth. Be content with your natural beauty. Go out on a limb. Drink plenty of water. Remember your roots. Enjoy the view. Socks and Mittens by Lewis Borden. Winter is caps, hats, socks, and mittens. Winter is red sleds up a hill. Winter is red sleds down a hill. Winter is a lot of stuff to put on and a lot of stuff to put off, to get off. Winter is fun out and in. Winter is hot mugs and hot cups. Yum, yum. Winter is snug in bed. Winter is caps, hats, socks, and mittens.
want a Lego set for Christmas. I hope Santa brings me one. Me too. I hope Santa brings me a Barbie house for Christmas. Maybe this year we'll hear Santa and his reindeers. Ho, ho, ho. And my mom makes me wear my mittens. I don't have mittens. My mom makes me wear gloves.
the gingerbread house. Let's not get down and eat it.
When it's cold outside, my mom makes me wear mittens. I got hat mittens. My mom makes me wear gloves. house. Let's knock it down and eat it. Yeah. yeah.
and tall. The next day when I saw him, he was not the same at all. His hat had slipped, his arms drooped down. He really looked a fright. It made me start to wonder, what do snowmen do at night? could see. He thought it would be fun to join the big boys in their snowball fight, but he knew he wasn't old enough. Not yet.
Ciudad de Puentes by Francisco Alarcón. Cities are bridges by Francisco Alarcón. Yo soñé una ciudad recostada. I dreamed a city resting. Entre alegres colinas y transvías. Among happy rolling hills and streetcars. Con casas que parecen de muñecas. With houses that look like doll houses. Y edificios con adornos de pastel. And buildings decorated like pastry. Yo soñé una ciudad abierta al mar. I dreamed of a city open to the sea. Remojándose los pies en una bahía. Soaking her feet in the bay. Amistosa, muy alegre y generosa. Friendly, very joyful and kind. Con puentes que los quieren a todos abrazar. With bridges riding to embrace us all. Una ciudad donde las personas se hacen puentes entre sí. A city where people become bridges to each other. Sleigh Ride by Evelyn Stein. Oh, happy time of fleecy rhyme and falling flakes, and oh, the glad surprise and baby eyes that never saw the snow. Down shining ways, the flying sleighs go jingling by and see. Beside the gate, the horses wait, and they for you and me.
Welcome New Year. By Nana King Duffy. Welcome the New Year. Let the bells ring. Lift up your voices. Everyone sing. The New Year's beginning started off right. Bid it good fortune and welcome tonight. The old year is passing, but there's none to mourn. We're rejoicing. The New Year is born. Tree by Kaya McClear. Charles wanted to find a wish tree. His brother said, there's no such thing. His sister said, there's no such thing. But Charles said, what do you think, Boggan? And Boggan thought, surely there was such a thing. So the next morning, Charles and Boggan set forth. la di da di da di da sang Charles. Whoosh, sang Boggan. They had the whole day ahead of them, the whole day to find a wish tree. Thank you. 